Hello and welcome to program 26 in this series of tutorials and programs that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, I'll be happy to let you know when I release new tutorials or programs. So back in tutorial 15, we were looking at Fibonacci relationships between pivot points, as you can see on the uh, the chart on this page on the website. And uh, one of one of the people on the list asked me, could I create a new program that was looking for uh, relationships within zigzag pivots? So that's what I've done in program 26. And uh, just to, to demonstrate this, what he was uh, asking me to do was to uh, modify the zigzags so that we would be looking for the successive up zigzags and if the uh, the change in price for that successive up zigzag was within a user defined tolerance of the previous zigzag then we would highlight that and you can see here we've done that by changing uh, the thickness of that line and uh, similarly you can see here the uh, the up value of the zigzag 5.75 was within a user defined tolerance of the previous up zigzag which was 5.5 and so we we uh, made the line thicker and that also works for down zigzags we would look for two successive down zigzags so you can see here we've got a down zigzag of uh, minus 10.5 and the previous one was minus 5 that is within the user defined tolerance therefore we made this second line thick uh, the other things we're doing here is these numbers are relating to the the difference between this price and this price and the the numbers at the top of the zigzags are the difference between this price and this price and we're printing those on the chart at the uh, the zigzag turning point so another question uh, someone had was with this program what about decimal places well what i've done is if we were to go format symbol and put in say a foreign exchange symbol like uh, GBP USD and press return you'll see a similar chart but uh, this time the values of those differences are now expressed to five decimal places and if we were to look up the USD JPY which is format symbol USD JPY press enter you'll see that uh, we're now getting the values to three decimal places let's just find the first value there three decimal places because this symbol is to three decimal places and uh, similarly if you were to for example go to a an equity uh, which is two decimal places you'll see the uh, the values expressed to two decimal places there so let me just quickly go through the inputs and go format analysis techniques and uh, the controls you have over this program firstly in terms of the zigzags you can specify the retracement percentage which in this case is set to 0.2 percent you can also express the uh, the tolerance in other words how close the second line has to be to the first line and the calculation is what we do is we take the previous line and we add the tolerance percentage to it and we subtract the tolerance percentage from it and we see if the value of the new line the new vertical distance is within a tolerance of that line then going back to the inputs here we've got format analysis technique and uh, this is a show me study by the way and uh, other things you control you can change the color of the zigzag color up the color of the zigzag color down I've got them set as dark cyan dark magenta at the moment you can also change the color of the text I've just got that set to uh, dark gray and then finally line thickness this controls the thickness of the line when we make it thicker so at the moment it's set to three but could set it to uh, I think a maximum of six and uh, if we were to go to the chart now you'll see that uh, that line is uh, is a lot thicker anyway hopefully uh, this program might be of interest to you if you're a gold pass member then you get a uh, an additional uh, disc or you get a, a discount off the price and uh, you uh, you can find more information at markplex.com you would just need to go to the programs and uh, go to the bottom of the page you'll see program 26 and if you click on the link like so then you can uh, get some more information from the website including this video and uh, anyway thank you very much